Montana's race for governor is one of the top contests on the 2020 ballot this year. This week, MTN News is giving you a closer look at where Democrat Mike Cooney and Republican Greg Gianforte stand on three major issues, the economy, education and health care. And tonight in the second part of our three part series, MTN chief political reporter Mike Dennison tells us more about the gubernatorial candidates plans and views for the future of education here in Montana. Democrat Mike Cooney says funding Montana's public education system from pre-kindergarten to college will be a top priority for him as governor. That's how we prepare the workforce for this state. That's how we make sure that the entrepreneurs and the businesses in this state have that pipeline of, of workforce that they so desperately need. So we need to make sure that we look at education as an investment. Cooney says he wants to freeze college tuition, publicly fund pre-kindergarten, which Montana doesn't have now, and look at boosting teacher pay. But he doesn't specifically say how he'd pay for it all. You do it through working on a budget. Now, it's up to the governor to put it out there for the people of Montana to see. And I'm willing to fight for these things, and we'll figure it out. Republican Greg Gianforte says his top priority on education will be increasing the pay for public school teachers because Montana has the lowest average starting teacher pay in the nation. Gianforte believes those salaries can be increased by getting rid of regulations that force schools to spend money on unnecessary things other than salaries. As I talk to public school superintendents, I, I feel like I'm talking to small business owners. They are tied up in red tape that's preventing money from getting to the classroom. And he wants to expand skilled labor education in Montana to fill job shortages in many technical fields. Cooney also says he will oppose using public funds or tax credits to assist private schools in Montana and criticizes Gianforte for being a supporter of such efforts. He is the one who has said we need to take resources, public dollars from public education and move it over to private education. You cannot, you cannot call that an investment, stealing money from one and putting it into pri pu private education. When asked about whether he'd pursue such a program as governor, Gianforte says only that parents know what's best for their kids and that he is for strong public schools. Yet Gianforte has clearly been an advocate for school choice programs and private schools. He and his wife Susan have funded scholarship programs for students at Montana private schools, and their family charitable foundation has contributed at least $12 million to Petra Academy in Bozeman, a private Christian school that their four children attended. Gianforte also co-authored a brief at the U.S. Supreme Court last year, arguing that Montana's constitutional ban against public aid to religious schools should not block a state tax credit funding scholarships for those schools. Gianforte also wants to freeze state funding and says it's not the time to start new education programs before first focusing on increasing teacher pay. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News. And this weekend, those two candidates will face off in an MTN debate. They'll hit on a number of topics that will affect the outcome of the race. Make sure and watch Saturday night at 6 right here on Q2 or with the Q2 streaming app.